All right. Hi, everybody. This is Jim with YouTube user Jim Lee Elevators. And today what you're looking at right here is my Asian Chinese single digit elevator floor position indicator control board. This came all the way from China. I forgot what brand this is. I think it's Otis. I don't really quite remember. Indonesia Live 3000. If you know what brand this indicator control display came from, please put in the comments below so I would know about it. So anyways, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to wire this up. Now, in case if you're wondering why I covered some parts with an electrical tape, well, that's because it has some silver sharp pointy spots down there. While we're wiring the sub, I do not want to accidentally touch that part because it could overheat and probably cause a lot of damage or probably like either explode or overheat or burn. I don't know, but whenever you're wiring this up, never, ever touch your wires on any of this part at all. You see right there, there's your... You see it you see a visible sharp spot right there you see you see that right there that is what it looks like and I'm probably gonna eventually cover this up with uh, with an electrical tape as well see that is why I basically cover all this up with an electrical tape and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using this to demonstrate the light on each segment right here and that is for the arrows, which direction the elevator is traveling, and that is the numbering which floor the elevator is landed on. Now before I get started, here is a photo of what it fully looks like. See, it's on my elevator collection display. This came all the way from China, thanks to my relatives who sent those to me about two and a half years ago. So with that being said, let's get started on the wiring process. All right, first of all, what you're gonna need is a transformer. Now, before you wire this up, never, ever plug this in because it could either burn, overheat, or cause big explosion. You would never know, but just always never plug this in when it's not wired up. All right, so as you see right here, these are the wiring edges right here see I just labeled them out so in case if I don't forget see this P right here this is the positive wire and then this N this is the negative all right so here is a little overview you see that big white line with the with the dotted black and white that looks like that look like what you see on a checkerboard see that is the positive wire right there and then the letterings onto the right wire is the negative just for me to show it to you so in case if you know that already this is what I basically showed you so far alright so what you're gonna need is a screwdriver that fits into these holes where the screws are and you're gonna first take your negative wire and place it inside here and we're gonna tie it up Make sure that it is in. See, make sure this is not showing because if you accidentally touch it, it could get very, very, very hot. All right, so I just tied up the negative wire. Now, as with the positive wire right here, see, this is the positive wire. Make sure you never, ever place your positive wire inside here. This, what you're seeing, you see this T right here? This is to the far right is what you call the grounding side. All the other spots right there are fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up this electrical tape right here. And we're going to cover it up for safety. Make sure it's covered up so that it's not showing.
And there you go. All right, so now you may plug inside your transformer. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be touching the positive wire on each slot right here in this entire row to light up this position indicator right here. We're first gonna start with the up and down. As you see right here, my dad marked the up and down arrow so that we know which one that lights up and all the other slots right here are basically for this is what lights up. As you also see down there, these are the letterings right here. See, this lowercase a through f are for the numbering line segments. And for the capitals, x and s are for the arrows I just showed you. So we're first going to be starting off with the arrows. I think I already said that. Before I get started, you see that upside down capital T right there? That is the ground slot that you should never, ever touch, like I already said. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to demonstrate you for the first time on how this works and all through the rest, I'm going to be just directly lighting it up to show you. So what you're going to do is you take this positive wire and plug it into the up hole. Now watch this. See, that lights up. See that up arrow lights up. Take it out and it turns off. See, plug it in, it lights up. Look at that. See, you have to mash down the wire in order to get it to work. All right now, so you can get a much better view with the background light off. See, I just turned off my lamp. Now watch this, you plug the wire in and that lights up the arrow. See, look at that. Pretty cool, isn't it? See, you take it out and it turns off. Plug it in, see? Now you can just take it out. Another thing you could also do is you can also place it up onto the screw hole right here, see? You just place it in there and that basically lights up as well, see? See, you, you, have, you have to like mash it down because it doesn't work very well because the wire wiggles and that flashes, see? Just like that, take it out and it goes off, see? Same exact feature just like what I just showed you. You do the exact same thing, but the difference that it's gonna light up whichever segment indicator it has on there. All right, now we're gonna light up the down lantern. See, it lights up. See, that's the down arrow that, that is lit up and that is placed on letter X. See, the S right there, I forgot to say, is for the up. See, that's basically how it works. So now you're gonna take the wire off and now, for the real part, is the line segment for the numberings. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this wire onto the lowercase f slot right there. So we're going to place it in there. And that lights up this segment right here, which is the upper left hand line segment right there. That lights up for lowercase f. Now we're gonna move on to lowercase g. Let's see what segment line lights up. The middle segment line right there, see? That's the middle segment line that lights up. So you just take it off and it, and it goes off. See, just like that, pretty cool. Now moving on is the E slot. Place the wire inside the E hole. And that lights up the lower left hand segment line. Sorry, I'm sorry it's not plugged in so well. See, there it goes, see? Just like that, lower left hand segment line that lights up. So we're going to take it off and move it on. We're going to D. So you take this wire and stick it inside here. That is the bottom segment line that lights up. See? Bottom segment line 
that lights up for letter D. Now going on to is C. Let's see which segment line lights up for letter C. Plug it in. That lights up the lower right hand segment line. That's for letter C. Now we're going on to B. The plug in there. That lights up the upper right hand segment line. You take it off. Now last but not least, A. The last segment line in this row. So we're going to place it inside there. Inside A. And that lights up the top segment line. So that is basically the demonstration how you light this thing up. You just simply wire this thing up and you just touch the positive wire on each of these holes right there in this line right here. See, what do you all think of that? Isn't this amazing? That is like a little demonstration tutorial on how this works. So anyways, that is the demonstration on how you basically wire up this Asian Chinese position indicator control display and how you basically just tap the wire and that each of these light would come on including this arrow. Um, I wish I could show you how to light up more than one segment lines but being that it's getting late and I have to go to bed early for school tomorrow, I will have to do that in another video. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so very much for watching. And that is going to be it.